Hi, my name is Tui Vo, and I'm going to be talking about azenatide, also known as bayeta and bidurion. So to start off, azenatide belongs to a class of medications called glucagon-like peptide 1 agonists. They are approved for use in patients with type 2 diabetes, and it's available in two forms of subcutaneous twice daily dosing, which is known as the bayeta, uh, the subcutaneous weekly dosing, which is the bidurion, and the exenatide decreases A1C by 0.5 to 1.5%. So I'm going to go over how to use the bayeta pens. So you want to inject two times each day within 60 minutes before morning and evening meals. Um, at least six hours apart, and you want to prime each pen the first time you use it. So I'm going to go over how to prime it based off the graphic below. So you want to pull off the blue pen cap. You want to check that the liquid is clear, colorless, and free of particles. And if you see air bubbles, that is normal. Then you want to remove the paper tab from outer needle shield. You want to push the cap needle straight onto the pen and screw the needle on until it is secure. Then you're going to pull off the outer needle shield and you're not going to be throwing this away. Pull off the inner needle shield and throw that away. And then you want to make sure to check that the right arrow is in the dose window. You want to pull the dose knob out until it stops and the arrow pointing up is in the dose window. Then you're gonna turn the dose knob away from you until it stops, and the number five is in the dose window. So with the needle pointing up, you wanna firmly push injection button in all the way until it stops, and keep holding the injection button firmly and slowly count to five. You're gonna watch for a stream of several drops, and then when the arrow pointing up is in the center of the dose window, the pen is ready to reset. You can then turn the dose knob away from you until it stops. An arrow pointing down is in the dose window. So to go over how to use the Bayetta pen, you first want to attach the needle onto the pen. So the first step you want to do is wash your hands prior to use. Pull off the blue pen cap and check that the cartridge is um, clear in terms of the liquid. It's colorless and free of particles. If you do see air bubbles, that is normal. Second step is to remove the paper tab from outer needle shield. You want to push the cap needle straight onto the pen. Make sure that you use a new needle for each injection and screw the needle on until secure. Third step is to pull off outer needle shield. Do not throw this away. Then you pull off the inner needle shield and throw it away. A small drop of liquid may appear, but this is normal. Step four, to dial the dose, you want to check that the arrow pointing right is in the dose window. If not, you want to turn the dose knob away from you clockwise until it stops. An arrow pointing right is in the dose window. Step 5, pull dose knob out until it stops. An arrow pointing up is in dose window. Step 6 is turn dose knob away from you until it stops. And the number 3 is in the dose window. Step 7, to inject the dose, grip the pen firmly in your hand. Insert the needle into your skin. Use thumb to firmly push injection button in all the way until it stops and keep holding the injection button firmly and slowly count to five to deliver full dose. Then remove needle from skin. So you can tell that injection is complete when arrow pointing up is in the center of dose window. Uh, step nine is to reset the pen by turning the dose knob away from you clockwise until it stops and the arrow pointing right is in the dose window. Step 10 is to carefully replace outer needle shield. Unscrew the needle and place in a puncture resistant container. Um, just a few things to note is that each dose 
should be administered in the thigh, abdomen, or upper arm. And each pen contains enough drug to inject a dose twice daily for 30 days. So to go over by Durian single dose vial slash tray, this medication requires you to mix the powder medication with the liquid in a syringe. Once mixed, it must be injected immediately, otherwise clumps will form. You want to insert the needle into the skin, push it down on the syringe plunger with your thumb until it stops, then withdraw the needle. Now I'm going to go over patient consultation for the Bidurion pen. So you want to remove one pen from the fridge and let it stand at room temperature for at least 15 minutes. Check that the liquid inside the inspection window to make sure it is clear and free of particles. Air bubbles are normal. You want to screw the needle onto the pen. With the pen upright, slowly turn the knob at the end of the pen until you hear the click and the green label disappears. Hold the pen by the end with the orange label and tap the pen firmly against the palm of your hand. Tap for about 80 times, rotating the pen every 10 taps. One mix by Durian, both formularities will be uniformly cloudy solution with no clumps. Then you're going to hold the pen with the needle pointing straight up and turn the white knob until the orange label disappears and the injection is released. Insert the needle into the skin, press injection button firmly until you hear a click. Count to 10 before withdrawing the needle. So I'm going to go over by Durian B size. You want to remove one pen from the fridge and let it stand at room temperature for at least 15 minutes. You're going to mix the medicine by holding the device with the orange cap facing up. Shake the entire device up and down for at least 15 seconds. Look at the medication window to make sure it is fully mixed. When fully mixed, you can inject right away. To inject, you want to turn the bottom knob from lock to unlock position until you hear a click. You will see a plunger appear in the window. Then you will unscrew the orange cap. A green shield will appear. This covers the needle. You want to push the edge of the green shield against your skin until you hear a click. Hold the device in place for at least 15 seconds. When finished, you should see an orange rod in the window. Remove the needle and discard the entire device. A few things to note for um, all of the Bidurion is that it is taken once weekly. If a dose is missed, take it as soon as you remember, as long as the next regularly scheduled dose is at least three days later. If the next dose is less than three days later, skip the missed dose entirely and continue with the next regularly dosing day. Also, each pre-filled pen comes with one dose of medication and must be disposed of after single use. So dosing and adjustments for Bayetta include, it starts at five micrograms subcutaneously twice a day for a month. This can be increased to 10 micrograms subcutaneously twice a day. With patients that have end-stage renal disease or creatinine clearance less than 30 mils per minute, this medication is not recommended. And for Bidurion, it's 2 milligrams subcutaneously once weekly. And patients with end-stage renal disease or creatinine clearance less than 30 mils per minute is not recommended. So mechanism of action of azenatide is that it's an analog of the incretin hormone GLP-1. So once food enters the stomach, it goes to the small intestines. Incretins are hormones that are released from GI tract because of the food that we ingest. This increases insulin from the beta cells in the pancreas and decreases glucagon. The overall effect is that plasma glucose is reduced. This can slow gastric emptying, improve satiety, and it can result in weight loss. So warnings and side effects of azenatide. There is a black box warning for bidurion with the risk of thyroid C-cell carcinomas. There's two warnings with bidurion uh, for pancreatitis and for gastroparesis. For pancreatitis, it can be fatal, usually in patients with 
risk factors such as history of pancreatitis, gall stones, alcoholism, or increasing triglycerides. Uh, with gastroparesis, it's not recommended in patients with severe GI disease. Um, other side effects for Xenotai include nausea, which is primary side effect, vomiting, diarrhea, hypoglycemia, weight loss, and injection site reactions. So the monitoring parameters for Xenotai include blood glucose, A1C level, and renal function.